Today we're unlocking the secrets to singing high notes with ease. Hey divas, today we're talking high notes. One of the most common questions I get asked about being a vocal trainer. So whether you're a soprano or even just a beginner, these tips that we go over today are going to really help you sing those high notes with more ease. As you practice these consistently, you will find your vocal range naturally expand and you'll be able to sing your high notes more and more effortlessly. So for our first tip, I can't emphasize enough warming up. Warming up your voice is absolutely important if you want to be able to hit those high notes and not feel or sound like tires are screeching. You can begin with gentle humming or some basic lip trills just to get those juices flowing and feel your vocal cords warming up. Engaging your vocal cords is crucial. Then you want to gradually move up and down your range to really start get those vocal muscles working. You have to wake up those high note muscles. My next tip is to relax your throat. Now this is a very important one that you might not hear talked about so often. But how often have we heard or tried it for ourselves? You sing a song, you go really high, you might even sing the song fine, but afterwards your throat is just so sore. Now this shouldn't be happening at all because your throat muscles actually need to be relaxed. You can make a conscious effort that when you know you're going to aim for those high notes, you purposefully relax your throat muscles. When you have tension in this area, tension in your throat, it's going to actually hinder you from hitting those really high pitches. You can imagine your vocal cords as a rubber band. You want to keep them nice and flexible, stretchy, bendy. That's what is going to help to bring out the most potential in your voice when you're singing out those high notes. Tip number three is your diaphragmatic breathing, which I did touch on a bit in my last video. Diaphragmatic breathing is your best friend when it comes to tackling these high notes. So you want to take a deep breath, letting your diaphragm expand, and then exhale steadily as you sing out your high note. This technique provides the necessary breath support. If you are liking this video so far and all the amazing things that we have been learning, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here or if you haven't already, because I don't want you to miss a thing. And I'd love to see you again here next week for my next video. If you're really enjoying my content, go ahead and hit the notification bell. That way you'll never miss an upcoming video. For tip number four, we have gradual range expansion. So for this one, it teaches you not to rush into singing your high notes immediately. You want to kind of gradually work your way up the scale. This can be a nice type of warm-up exercise as well as you just go note by note up the scale. Over time, you'll find that your vocal cords become more and more comfortable with doing the higher ranges and the higher pitches. So to demonstrate, instead of just singing at la, you can work your way up there singing la, For our last tip today, we have head voice transition. To sing high notes comfortably, you will often need to be able to transition into your head voice. Now, this doesn't always come naturally for everyone, so you may need to work on it a bit, practice it a bit, so that you get to the point where it just comes naturally to you in a song. 
head voice is a lighter and more flexible register. You will need to feel your voice shifting from your chest voice into head voice. Practice sliding between the two, sliding between chest voice and head voice in between back and forth in order to kind of iron out those vocal bumps. That way you're going to sound nice and smooth as you transition from one type of register into the next. Just to demonstrate quickly, here is a chest voice la sung at a high note. La. And if I have to sing that in head voice, it would sound something like la. Now, if I have to transition between the two, it would sound like la. and smooth that sounded as I practiced a little bit to get to that last one. This is what you want to do with your voice. Don't feel afraid to play around with your vocals and make different sounds. Do whatever you need to do to get your vocals to that point where it's also sounding correct to you. Now, I hope you enjoyed these five important tips for singing your high notes. Remember, as always, it takes practice, it takes patience. So try and enjoy the process as well. While you're on that journey, learning to sing your high notes better and with more ease. You want to keep working on these techniques and don't push yourself too hard too soon. That is how so many people end up with a sore throat or damaging their vocals. Just with some time, dedication to practice, maybe a good routine, you'll sound like a pro with your high notes. As you practice more and more, you also won't feel as shy. I've noticed that with students, as they keep on up with the practice, in the beginning they're a bit scared to hear their own voice, but you develop a type of confidence where you can just hit those high notes like a pro or even if you do mess up, you're like not even bothered about it because you know that you can just keep on singing over and over yourself until you get that high note exactly the way you want it to sound. Now, if you would like to build up your confidence even more and sing your high notes even easier, I encourage you to check out the beautiful course that I have put together for you. It's called Learn How to Sing Vocal Training and it takes you through all the way from beginner to intermediate and then to advanced level vocal training. So no matter which level of vocal ability you may be on, you will benefit. You can really transform your vocals and build your self-esteem. Details in the description box below. In my next video, we're going to be talking about the art of vocal warm-ups. Yes, more vocal warm-ups. I have just gotten so many questions from you guys about everything vocal warm-ups. So you'll want to join me for that next video. And until then, my beautiful divas, stay awesome.